So I want to clear up this misconception on pushing and give you some pushing tips. From what we see like in Hollywood and the movies and TVs and sometimes even how we're coached maybe from a previous experience or we've seen somebody else coach or talked about it is we have to put all this urge and energy into pushing our baby out. The cool thing about natural childbirth is the uterus being a muscle, your uterus is going to push your baby out. So when your baby gets ready, is in the bottom of the pelvis, so the baby's top of the head is about two centimeters below the ischial spines on the back side of the body, it's about right here, then your uterus is like, oh, okay, it's time to push. The other thing that's gonna happen right before that happens is the sacrum's gonna lift and it's going to pull the tailbone out of the way. So that way the baby's head has a clear shot straight out, which then tells the uterus to go into the fetal ejection reflex. So that's when the uterus will start pressing down the baby's head down and out of the bottom of the pelvis. So you will have extreme pressure down there. You might start feeling the ring of fire. You might start feeling burning sensation, or it just may be a lot of pressure. Not everyone feels the fire or burning, but that's where we just breathe our baby down and out. And we let the uterus push our baby out of our body until our baby's head crowns. So when we crown, that's where the baby's head is caught in the perineum and it just stays there. And then we have relaxant hormone that's flooding our body to make the perineal tissues, which is the bottom of the vi vagina down to the anus, very, very flexible. It stretches literally like a rubber band. If you fire your baby out quick, then the tissues are going to tear. You didn't give the opportunity for the tissues to stretch. But if you allow the tissues to stretch using the baby's head, your baby can come out of your body without any tearing. So as your uterus pushes, so we're gonna let the uterus do its job and press the baby down. When the baby's being pressed, we're gonna change our breath. I really want you to focus on your breath and allowing the uterus to do the pushing, not you bearing down really hard to help the uterus. That type of bearing down really hard and holding your breath comes from miscoaching, coaching and it's also epidural coaching because you can't feel what you're doing. So that, that's that bearing down purple face pushing. That is not what I'm talking about here. This is surrendering to the uterus, letting it do its final job of getting the baby out of your body. So here comes the contraction. You're letting it build. You feel that, that urge to press down. You're going to let the uterus do it and you're going to as the baby's head emerges from your body slowly. If you don't like the you can try, you can also try, okay, there's different types of breathing that you can use, and then the last one is a little bit of like a grunt, like a hunting, 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 hunting. so those are four different types of breathing methods that you can use to help guide the baby out. When the uterus is done pushing, we're going to allow the baby's head to stretch your perineum. And we're gonna just take some nice cleansing breaths, remain calm, remain centered, getting lots of oxygen to our baby, and we're gonna rest and be thankful. And whenever your uterus is ready to go again, it's gonna build that contraction. You're gonna feel it come on. You're gonna get that urge to sit down and and we do that as many times as needed until our baby's head comes out all the way. And then we allow the shoulders to rotate. So the shoulders need to square up to come out of the pelvis and then the baby comes out a lot easier, just like that, okay? We think there's more to pushing than there actually is, but it's from how we're conditioned but what we see in the movies, what we see on TV, and how we could have been coached in the past, which is not the best way to get a baby. We want our bodies to spontaneously start pushing. If your body's not pushing, your baby is not ready to be born. So we need to take patience, labor down some more, which means just have a few more contractions. And when your uterus is ready, 
your uterus will do its job and it will help push your baby out of your body across your finish line so y'all can meet. If you would like more natural birth tips, click subscribe. I'm Krisha, your natural birth trainer.